Okay, long day. Everything's set up, but wanted to have at least one walk through for the record. So this year, we have a bunch of front items, some strobes, some fountains, some larger cakes. I try to keep away from the other cakes. They have a tendency to catch on fire um, and some um, zipper cakes as well. So kept all those separate and up front. This year I've added a shield not only to the front for tips, but I had a lot of cake fires last year. So I tried to add a wind block um, on the side we get. So see how that works. Moving on to the back row is actually two rows. One row of smaller cakes and mortars. One, two, three, and four on the front row, and another four on the back row. Back row is pretty much all 500 gram cakes and some 62 millimeter shells. For our finale, we have an 18 shot rack here in serial, all the way down to the right hand side, another 18 shot rack, again, all in serial, which will go off at the same time as 36 shot rack in the back row. We have shells and comets on the far left. Back to the center, our 36 shot rack for shells for our finale as well as comets and mortars, um, fan cakes in the center, and another set of comets and mortars, or I'm sorry, comets and mines on the other side as well. So this year we have 172 connected to the 36, 236 racks. We have an 18M in the back corner and an 18M in the back corner for Comets and Mines. We have a 36M controlling these two boards, a 36M controlling these two boards, 36M controlling these two boards, a 36M controlling the front row, one 18M that controls the two racks in series, and one 36M for these two boards. There you have it, exhausted.